governor of Antioquia. I came here because of Teddy and from the Mexicans. He said, I had to do that. That's the problem. I have been being a university professor. They don't pay me as much as I would need to save money to do the, the campaign. But I did it because I saw Teddy, how much he loved what he was doing. I knew that I was going to be in this place and I go. I should be walking. I walk slowly now because I cannot walk as fast. But that's, those things happen in life. Now we have a challenge. Yeah, and now we have governed. And I'm running for governor of Antioquia. How we keep the spirit of what we have done so that people won't say, well, now Sergio Fajardo is going to be like the old, like all the other politicians. So we are facing a new challenge. I hope to come here as the governor of Antioquia and I will tell you how we are solving a problem now which is very different. But I love to solve problems, what we learn. How we have now 125 cities. 125 cities and the governor is a very different role from a mayor. But it has been something worthwhile. I don't know what you do with Muslims. That's your problem. But there should be a fact. I mean, you, you do, what? with all due respect, I mean, you have to solve the problem. You have to do it. And there has to, I believe there is no solution. There has to be a solution. Then you have a building where they live all together. If they don't want to move, but then you have the tallest building in the world, and then you put all of them there. I don't know. This is the ultimate Sergio, Eric, Eric, a couple of questions, or something related. My, my interest is in transferability to our situation here, so I have two questions that are related to that. First, in your ability to raise taxes, are you were you able to do that as mayor and council, or did you have to get a vote of the people to approve that? If you had to get a vote, was it a simple majority or two thirds? I'll tell you two things. One, within Colombia, we have the land tax, which has to be by constitution updated every five years. Usually, mayors and the people from the city council say, we won't raise taxes. So they will tend to do, say, oh, they forget about it, or they promise that they won't raise taxes. And we say, we are going to raise the taxes, we use the law, and we are going to raise them. We had the study, and we said, and we are going to do it. I could do it. And how come there is, of course, the people from the city council uh, uh, who would come and say, how come this mayor is raising taxes, people are poor, they need, said, we are going to raise the taxes. Of course, what we need was first, the people from the richest sector of town are going to pay first. And for the first, basically, we were, there was no raise. And anyone who has a complaint regarding to the tax would be given attention, we would be explaining. And people take. Now, they saw that I wasn't getting rich with this. They saw that whatever they paid would go directly to where we have said that we were going to do it. So we have their trust. Now, with the city council, it's an interesting relationship. Because I became the mayor. He, once I became the mayor, we didn't have a majority in the city council. Actually, we were a very representative minority. We were two out of 21. <laughs> well, so, but then when we began our government, they said, well, how are you going to have the, the council men, council people there? They said, it's very easy. There is no position for anyone here. There is no contract for anyone here. If you have an idea and you want to work with us, we will be glad to do it. And they will tell me, no, come on, that's not the way it's done. <laughs> and I will say, explain me why. And of course, nobody could explain me how it should be done. Because usually, you will put together a majority, a coalition, and then the members of the coalition, then you will name a guy from that coalition in your working team, and so on. And you start splitting the interest of the city among political groups. <laughs> and I said, uh, no way was it. <laughs> and we didn't do it. But then they said, oh, 
he is not going to be able to go. He said, if you want to kick me out, you kick me out. But I'm not going to do this. Not even for the two councilmen that belong to our party. They said, but what about them? What could they ask for? They already have the mayor. I mean, do you need anything else? And we did it. But we did it every single day. And we were coherent, consistent, and we respected it. If I had done something wrong, everyone would have gone after me. Today, I have every, all these traditional parties going after me because we have challenged them and what we have defeated them. And I'm the head of this movement. But they try to say, Fajardo did this wrong, to try to make us look like them. <coughs> and we have, I'm here, and we are going to win this election. Uh, actually, can I just mention, just for a moment, we don't want to exhaust him, of course, he still has to walk up to, you know, to enter Tijuana tomorrow and so on, but what I would like to suggest because of time, similar to Dilip's reflection on a particular topic, and instead of being questions 